Welcome back, everybody. This is episode six. Yeah. Of Hollow's Night. Boom. Ever clear clear the set? Clear the set for. It's so quiet right now. Wow. It is. Um, quiet. I don't. I don't like. I don't, see this game. See, I'm gonna turn the lights off because this game. I feel like it's not a happy game. It's not a game that is is meant to enjoy with like laughter. It's more so, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I don't know. It feels very. It's, it's somber. It feels very like uh Somber is the word, but like, what's another word for somber and like a scarier light? You know what I mean? Like mm, kind of scarier. It's dark, maybe. Dark, yeah, dark. It's a dark game. But it's like also cute. So it's like, how am I supposed to feel about it? You know. Well, Cole, I think where our definition of cute is real different. Real different. <laughs> you don't think this think guy's the graphics cute? Graphics look really. Oh, zero percent, zero percent. Really? I, I looked up. A, I looked them up already. <laughs> I think a lot of times the cutest, mo the cutest things are the evilest and the scariest. Mm. And, Ugh, uh, I in don't America, like that. that's how they've already produced it. Was it the Gremlins? What was it, what was those little like the eight nineteen nineties? They dropped a movie where the they turned into like some monster that was mm. very cute, but they turned into monsters. I hate that. I hate it when something cute turns into a monster. Oh. A monster. That is. It's, it's it's a terrible trope. Not a fan of that. Well, since we're talking about tropes, give me your favorite trope, like in you no know, anime or favorite in trope, any genre hmm. trope. Yeah. Uh, geez, I don't know. I have to think about that because that's like well, that just feels really outside of my brain for some reason. <laughs> like I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Well, you tell me. Do you have a favorite trope? Ugh. Okay. Uh, I think one of my favorite tropes in any genre is the the main character being super strong but not projecting his strength mm. until he has to. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or the opposite. A character super strong and never losing in a fight no matter how powerful the dude is. You know, right? Yeah. I love that type of uh, oh, okay. character. Oh, okay. Okay. I know what mine is now. Um, yes. That was helpful. First of all, I agree. That is super cool. It's annoying when a character has a bunch of strength and they use it all the time. Um, like, uncontrollably. Like, that's how I felt, kind mm. of. I know people are going to hate me for this, but I, I, that's how I felt about Legend of Korra. I was like, man... She's obnoxious. <laughs> of course she learns, but like, I just wasn't into that. Um, but my favorite trope is when the guy or the character always does the right thing. Like you, there's a show where like something happens off camera that only the audience sees and you're like, oh, I really hope the character, you know, does the right thing um, in this moment. Mm. And the, the sh you know most shows always tease it and spend like eight episodes you know stretching it out <laughs> but I love it when there's a character that always does what you want you know they always release the tension like within the episode um, that's always a good time and like you but the show it makes it a lot harder to write a show like that because you got to come up with new conflicts all the time but I love it when Ooh, bubbles. Bubbles everywhere. I love it when a character always does the right thing. Ooh. So, we're talking about tropes. I looked up some cinematic example of tropes. And new new I area, if, Pete. Uh, we don't know what tropes mean because we, we, we kind of off. So, this is one trope. The bad guy wears black. Ah, yeah. How do you feel about uh, that trope? Uh... I want to one day be able to only wear black. That is my goal. Really? That's a goal that I, I'm progressing towards very slowly because I have a girlfriend who believes color. Who she? First off, she's extremely biased that her opinion is is blinded by, I don't know, uh, love because she swears anything looks good on me. And that is dangerous, people. Do not get a girlfriend that <laughs> believes anything looks good on you. Um, Really? Some people don't believe in even having a girlfriend. Uh, I'm not one of those people. Uh, I hope she don't listen to this because she probably, you know, 
mm-hmm. she'd probably be the uh, wearing all black soon. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're gonna hear about this later. She, yes. So here's another trope: the comic relief. Ah, uh, yes. You know, in certain movies, the comic relief. Let's see what else they have. Let's see. Here's Did you trope. also notice Size that we're in a totally power. Size means power. Yes. Hey Pete, did you notice well, we're I, in like I, a totally he's, he's, Oh new area? Well, this makes sense. It looks like water, jellyfish, he's amphibious because oh, beetles. Oh, it does look like water. Uh, I've I don't never know this for a fact. thought about that. But I, I don't know this for a fact, but I will say for the show purposes, beetles are amphibious and they can survive in uh water. <laughs> I, <laughs> this is don't fact check it. Oh, He's very Hello. fancy. I like his oh, his cool. hair. It's a toupee. Yes. yes. Um, Peter, how do you feel about doing this voice? I know you were apprehensive about doing it. Well, you could just you could just read it in your normal voice if you want to. That's I think that's what I would do. I don't know for some reason voices are just so cringy to me. Yeah, and absolutely. In my job, <laughs> I have to listen to my voice back now. So oh it's no! So cringy. Oh. Yeah. Hello totally... there. Yeah, go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello there. What is it? Dairy? Deary. Derriere? D- D- Who? Derriere. <laughs> Probably Derriere. Derriere. Also, I don't like reading because I don't think I can read. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, <laughs> I, I'm not confident in reading. Like, I was, a t- I was a person in school when I knew we had to read out loud. I would read mm. over everything first before I got called on mm. so I knew I was reading. Like, I, I would, would do that too. I would purposely read 100%. Ahead. It was yeah. terrifying to not be able to read. And this is 11th grade. I was so scared to read. Like, if I had mm. to start the reading, I'd be so scared. Yeah. And just now, the trauma came right back because I couldn't <laughs> pronounce that if word. If it's not you know time yet, if you, need, if you need more time, then you don't have to do it. No, no, no. I, I'm fine. <laughs> so okay. Let me try this okay. more. Okay, because I totally hear um, that. And what's his name? Mil- Milbell? Millie, Millie Bell. Millibell. 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 It's a little hard to read. Yeah. I'm 26, and listen, reading is fundamental. Do not joke around and be a comedy in a class because when you're recording stuff with your friends, it exposes you (laughs) to a different degree. It does. Just keep in mind, Cole is making me do. I I keep telling y'all, Cole is not this good person. He makes me do things that he knows I struggle with. Yeah, I have a remote that controls. Uh, a shocking device that will, if Peter doesn't do what I say, <laughs> forcing him to do a, a comedy voice in front of a, of a an internet audience. It's, it's very painful. All right, Pete, so, so go ahead. Reading. You better start right now or I'm counting down from 10. <laughs> I, I was about to close up uh, close, <laughs> close up the shop and, ru- and run. Till you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. Mm. Take the loan out. Whatever it is, take the loan. Losing one's GO is a terrible thing. And it's so much more likely if you carry it carry it about on yourself. Okay. My vault is much more secure. In all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single GO. Hmm. Ooh. I don't know. Even as a banker, that seems like a little stretch, little Millie. You know, banker, banks only insure up to a certain amount. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if we're going to have a cap. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe you, you, you'd you consider opening an account. Uh, they always try to sell something. Opening an account in this kind of game? What do you think, Pete? We have the, we can afford it. Yeah, we can afford it. I believe in doing everything in any game, everything. just for the experience. Yeah, like for the life experience. All right, He's let's a young do kid. it. He needs to learn. <laughs> yeah, he looks like an innocent little boy. You're a smart one. Well, thank Next you. Next time, some dreadful beastie gets the best of you. You'll you'll be glad to know your GL safe within my what's that shelter? My vault. I think she's like, you'll be glad to know your geo is safe within my shell. Uh, my fault. Oh, I think she was about to say something like that, that she that she uh, didn't no, mean to say. Do some banking. Mm. Shout out to. Uh... Oh. 
Let's put a dollar in there. Oh, I wanted to put oh, a you dollar, you put but 50s? only fifties. Let's put the whole thing in there. <laughs> Should we? If we do, it makes the game harder, and I don't believe in being harder in life. Uh, mm hmm. Oh, no. All right. But Let's all in. in. Well, brought, actually. All in. All in? All in. 1600. 1650. We keep, we keep 13. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm. Oof. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> All right. Scary. Now you have scary. to kill. You have to go make that money back, Cole. <sighs> you have to go make that money back. Now, <sighs> Cole, you said something earlier, and you said people might not agree or like what you said. And it was about the Legend of Korra. Yeah. And you said uh, the way they did her character. Yeah. Now, how much do you like the Legend? Have you seen it all, first off? Oh, yeah. Okay, have you seen all of Avatar the Abbey as well? Oh my gosh, yes. I've watched that many times. And I have the comics now, too. Have you s oh, so do you have any other newer comics? Any of the newer of Korra or of uh oh. Of uh, the the series itself. Not Korra, not Aang, but it's a new avatar. Oh. No, I have not. Oh. Get out of here. You're in my way. Ah. These jellies. Have you heard anything about the new Avatar? Well, so I know yeah, that I know that uh, Michael DiMartino, DiMartino, and Brian Konietzko, I think that's his last name. They're the creators of Avatar, and they were on a project with Nickelodeon, and then because of creative differences, they left the project. So I know that Nickelodeon is doing an Avatar thing, but uh, and I'm very excited about that, but I'm looking i'm curious to see what it's gonna be since they left but and then i think i'm I, i'm kind of confused i thought that there was gonna be like a, another live action series and i don't remember if that was a nickelodeon thing or if that was brian and um mike's thing so that's that's the avatar news that i am currently aware of oh well, I guess I'll be breaking this news to Cole. Not breaking, but in All a right. good way. Yeah, I need to so hear. So there's two series, to my knowledge. The movie is coming out, and they're doing a great job casting-wise. Great job casting. Good. I'm talking about 10 out of 10 casting so far. Very accurate in the depiction of the characters. Very Ooh. Uh, Ooh. very ethnic in the... Uh, the, the good. Uh, Better than that, the casting that, as well, that first which makes, which live action it should movie. Be. And this is for... Yep. The first one was terrible. Oh my goodness! I oh was yeah, upset. it was bad. Oh my goodness! I'm like, if we if we could have rioted for that, <laughs> I think the world would have came together for that. Cause that was terrible. Absolutely, I think they could have. Oh my good, that was terrible. But so that's gonna be the Ang one. Now the new Avatar is a sand bend is a earth bender, cause you know of course. Wait a minute! Stop the episode. Peter almost spoiled a book, movie, TV show, manga, or a movie. And that's not cool. Introducing Spoiler Spaniel. Spoiler Spaniel is here to censor any kind of spoilers for your viewing experience to be a one that is without worry. Now let's listen to that again. The new Avatar is a sand bend is a earth bender because you know a chord last in the last episode of it she, so the new avatar is a sand bender Ooh. Which, which is a, like a subsection of earth yep so he's from the desert and he learns how to bend sand oh. first because he's from you know, that's his heritage and stuff yeah so wow that's what the new avatar is Ooh, i love that so wait it's a new and animated thought, series yes animated series <gasps> yes sir Ooh! Wait, who's making it? Is it also Nickelodeon? Nickelodeon. Yeah. Okay. Netflix is doing the live action, I think. Right. And and also Netflix just wrapped One Piece live action. Oh, so that's a big is deal. Done, but time for CGI, and they did. And Netflix is doing a great job with the casting on One Piece as well. Good. 
Ow. Ow. So I don't know if you know this or not, in 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 uh, mangas and stuff, or especially One Piece, they have you know where the author will leave comment. Like you could, as a as a person who reads it, you can like respond to the author, ask the author questions, and he can respond. To, he'll respond to it every now and again. What? So in One Piece, the author somebody asked the author, "Hey, what are the ethnicities of the characters? Like, what are they? Are they, uh-huh. are they you know?" And he broke down all of them. So Luffy wow. is Brazilian. Sanji is French. Is French. Uh, Zoro is Japanese. Nami is Swedish. Sweden? Swedish? Yeah. Swedish. Yeah. Frankie is American. Good and American I don't, I don't remember the rest. Yeah, Frankie. Yeah, exactly. And they all... It fits. And they... It fits. It. So there you go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's what I thought you could have done in, in, uh, in other games. What'd you say? You wish you could you could pogo oh, like that well, in other games? Oh, I don't know if you know this. Huh? What'd you say? You wish you could pogo like that in other games? Yes, I do. Uh, well, it makes a lot of sense. Like a character. Cause oh! These characters be so strong, but. Oh. oh. They be so strong, but they can't bounce off another. So I like off, right. off land and stuff. Yeah. That makes no sense. Hup, 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 hup. Now, Cole, I don't know if you heard, but Game of Thrones came out last Sunday. Oh, wait. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Wait, wait, wait. I thought Game of Thrones was over. The new, a new. Oh, a new series. series. Came out of Game of Thrones. Different story. A prequel series. Prequel, yeah, prequel. series. It's like 150 years Ugh. before, 170 years before the main storyline. Wow. So have you watched it? I have not watched. Or do you watch Game of Thrones in general? I've never watched any Game of Thrones. Have, are you are you a well, Game of I'm Thrones a, enjoyer? Oh, for sure. I was. Is is I was. I was to the point where uh, I was up at twelve trying to watch it every yeah. night when it first when the first season ran. Oh, because of that nice. time, I'm only up at nine. Yeah. But I'm gonna give you a scenario. Okay. You are the king. Uh-huh. And as the king, your number one job is to have an heir. Yes. So you have to have a son. A royal heir, yes. Yes, a royal heir. He has to be male. But it cannot to be a daughter. Because tradition. You already have a daughter. I have a daughter. Why can't she... Oh, she's a queen. Mm. Okay, go on. Now, this is very, this is very important here. <clears throat> this is during a time where it's... You know, there's no doctor. There's more so people who just know how to deliver babies and know what's best to do. Yes, of course. Okay. Now, your wife is in labor. Oh, dear. But the baby is in breach. And they cannot get the baby to unbreach. Oh, dear. And the the physician tells you, or the the the, the mace master, whatever his name is, mm-hmm. he tells you, either we can save the baby... Or they can let them both Peter, die. Peter, listen, my dear companion, Peter. Though I am the king and I make many hard decisions, this is not <laughs> one that I am willing to make. <laughs> this is a classic trolley situation where even if I do nothing, it's still making a choice, and yet I do not want to make this decision. Well, I don't know if y'all heard. Cole made his choice. He said he would do nothing, and that both of them no, die. that is and not my final decision. Subject more to the character of who Cole subject. is. Subject, listen. It's not my final decision. Make your, cho- make your choice, Cole. You only have <laughs> so my wife two has options. no choice in the matter. She has zero, <sighs> and you have to be in the room the whole time. <laughs> and she doesn't know you're making the choice. Oh, jeez. <sighs> trying to figure and out where to go in Hollow Knight. Trying to figure out whose life to take. <sighs> It's time to get real, Cole. It's time to grow up. Time to put away your toys. I, and guess what? I just watched, I rewatched Speed Racer. And that scene. Oh, Cole. And that scene where he was trying to get Speed Racer to join Racer and motor, uh, motor, Motors, whatever it was. And Speed Racer was like, no, I'm not doing this. He was like, now it's time to put away your toys. Be a big boy. Grow up. I was like, oh. That character <laughs> was written beautifully. Yes. Okay? Now, yes. Don't also, try to avoid this cold. Don't just, try to get this off topic. I just hold on. I'm gonna avoid the question again. 
I just, I, <laughs> just so everyone knows, I am backtracking a lot. I understand. I'm very sorry. Um, hold on, let me check my journal. Uh, I know where I'm going now, so just, you're just gonna have to deal. Um, just learned about Uomas and Umas, which is super, super great. So, anyway, um, I mean, that's, I, <laughs> uh, but my wife, I love her, and I don't, mm, but the baby's younger and has more life to live, and, but I don't want to give into the politics of stuff. I don't want to be seen as a heartless politic dude. But you lose both if you don't save one. So what's the, the logic answer is to save one of them, right? Uh, but if I save the baby, he has no mom. I yeah, think, oh, but losing a child is awful. <sighs> I would save, uh, I'd save my wife, because we can try again for a baby. That's my decision. You think you would try again for a baby? Try again for another baby, yeah. But Cole, remember, they both will die. It's like, it's not, it's either you save the baby or they both die. Oh. That's the choice. Oh, well, then I'd save the baby. Okay. The baby still dies, by the way. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> you just made a terrible decision. You lost your wife. You lost the baby. Dude. Uh, it, you're, just, you're selfish, man. Oh, gooey. Well, so, Peter, what was why you was this in, the Game of Thrones plot, or was this just some devious way to make me feel bad? <laughs> no, this was the Game of Thrones plot, which was crazy. We thinking so he comes out, but like the dude was like, we can only save one of them. I mean, we can only save one, or they both die. Oh. Saved one, the baby dies a day later. Wow. Uh, the the same night. This is the, the new mother's series dying because that's they had starting. a cut. Yes, so because they had to cut her open and the, oh, the blood loss would kill her. Uh, so they had to. What do you think, Bug? They got Which, the baby who, out the, who would you save, Willow? Uh, I don't know about that. But. Willow like she'll eat. She'll eat them. She does. Wow. What is she a praying mantis? Because this game to me is based off bugs and based off right, insects. Right. I would say not bugs. So what would she be? I don't Ooh, know. Wow. She's be. kind of a creepy. Maybe praying a praying mantis. mantis. Yeah. Come in search like of giraffe? treats, have you? I, I am part giraffe and part praying mantis. Try and think about how that would happen. I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. Well, mm. she's definitely enjoying it. She's eating stuff now? <laughs> she said she's definitely enjoying it. <laughs> Can you go past her? <laughs> I'll, I'll try. That vice must have once been quite the hub. That misty doctor one side and those bulbous gross another. The other place seems particularly welcoming, so while my little treats last, I think I'll stay right here. She follow. Can you attack her? No. Oh, that sucks. Anything else? Feel free to stop by any time. Though I do like the quiet in this station. A little company is always good for one's health. Hmm. She's, she's very sweet. I like Willow. Yeah, she's, Willow's very Willow's sweet. very sweet. Well, you know, that is quite a way to start a Game of Thrones series. So I'll tell you that. Yes. I mean... And your brother, he he, he has a party because if the, if the king doesn't have an heir, the brother gets to become the next king. When the brother die, when the you know when you, you know when you die, wow. So the brother said, "R.I.P. to the to the prince that to the prince that the one day prince something like that." Mm -hmm. Something poetic and, uh, and that sad. Was, well, that at least we've got enough geo for the stag station. Well, I'm, I'm very happy. You really racked up, okay? You really racked up. You you was you was fighting. I was, yeah, pretty pretty brutal. What do you got to say, Stag? Oh boy, this is the voice that hurts my throat for the rest of the episode. Ah, this gladdens me. The Queen Station has opened once more. This place was a bustling hub of travel, well placed for travelers visiting the outer edges of the land. Is it a land if it's all underground, Stag? 
You're quite the explorer to find this place. Thanks. Eager to travel the stagways, just hop on that platform, give me the signal, and we'll be soon be on our way. Please give me a tip. Ugh, no tip. Ugh. So, we got Queen Station now. Very nice. Okay. Very nice. My question is, like... Where is the other girl with the needle with the needle knife? That is a good question. She ran away after we fight. And so mm. I don't know where she went. Um I was hoping to run into her again. Also the past few episodes I've been forgetting that I have a dash, so you know, you can yell at me all you want, internet, but uh ooh. Hey hey, another new area. Look at this guy. Ooh, fungal waste. Oh. I love the I sound like he makes. Very... I, I, I like the sound too. I, I don't like the gas. <laughs> Making me feel uncomfortable. Ooh, let's see what it's called. Oops. A fungoon. <laughs> very nice. More like fun goon. Yeah, he's a fun. He's like the when when a, a crime boss has a bunch of goons, but he's a fun one. Fully grown. Like, if if he was in Marvel or DC, what underling would he be? <laughs> like, who underling would he be? I don't know. Maybe like that's hard. The Batman villain, the Penguin guy. What's his name? I don't know. The um, Penguin from DC. Yeah, yeah. Penguin, hmm. Penguin, Penguin Man. I don't know. Apparently, it's Fungal Balloon. Oh, Fungoon. Fungal Balloon. Very interesting. Um. Also, I forgot to start a timer for this episode, so I don't know how long this episode is. Uh, I think we hit it at like two minutes ago, but I'm not sure. So we keep really <laughs> okay. Yeah. I have no idea. Oh, I hear a uh, friend. I'm sorry if you all hear music. Somebody's playing Michael Jackson. Uh, really? I <laughs> rock with me. It sounds like Michael Jackson now that you say it. That's funny. But what is he doing? Can we follow him? I would, I would love to follow him. Just see what he does. Yeah. Like, does he have to go see his wife? Or are they just separated right now? Hard I, times. It sounds like hard times. Because when we talked to Zelda, when we talked to her before, she was like, I wish he would spend more time with me. Um, and oh, and no. Cornifer said, I, when I go back to see my wife, she's always so glad to see me. So I think Cornifer is a little obsessed and his wife is a little upset. That would be yeah, a great like. mod for this game. If there was just a version of this game where you follow corner for around, that would be great. What if you could switch characters? Like when you meet them, you can like mm. switch your consciousness to their consciousness. Yeah, and, like, some Mario Odyssey character. type stuff. Maybe corner for. Oh yeah, it's Mario. I just I just stole that whole game and just try to put it in this one. I, <laughs> I do apologize. Hey, uh, copyright infringement is real. <laughs> uh, great game idea though. I mean, yeah, I thought I had I thought I had one. Yeah, that's okay. I thought I had one. Um, ah, my short friend, you've caught me at the perfect time. I'm just finished uh, ignoring my wife. Uh, ch charting these noxious caverns. Very territorial types make their homes within this area. I suggest avoiding them where possible. A pacifist, it seems. Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. Ooh. Gonna have a math mini game, maybe. <laughs> In my youth, I'd have. I'm not gonna lie. What? The the background music sounds like somebody's sleeping, and they they are mm. hard heavy breather sleeper. Like, mm. <sighs> yeah, it does. And I could have sworn somebody was sleeping in my bed. I was gonna get terrified. <laughs> I was gonna jump up because nobody was supposed to be in this room but me, and it was gonna get weird. Yes. And I don't know. Sleep, sleepy ghost. Um. In my youth, I'd brave their caves, but I fear my matured physique <laughs> wouldn't be able to outrun them were they to turn violent. That is definitely <laughs> what I'm going to call myself if I ever gain weight. I've just, I've just got a matured physique, and it's just harder to get around these days. Oh, Peter! <laughs> One short. Damn it, Cole. Oh, I don't have enough geo, I understand, you imbecile. I'll give you the map as a gift. <gasps> Whoa! But I don't think that was a nest fire. Oh man, that was cool that's never happened to me before. But I don't think my wife would be very happy if I did. 
All our food is made of geo, as they say. <laughs> Aww. So the, Wait. Oh. I thought you were gonna give it to no, us. No, he said he said he can't because his wife would be mad at him. Oh, I thought he was gonna for, give I, it to corner us. Corner for if we could kill you, I would. I would give you the map as a gift. All right, corner for I'll be right back. Hey, check these out. Boing. Boing. There you Boing. go. That's 75 right there, ain't it? Boing. No, that's not. Boing. Here we go. What's this web? What was what, that? Woo. 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 Uh oh. All right, we're gonna do four reps of the bounce and swipe. One, two. Would would this be considered like a honeycomb? Do you think it's like a honeycomb nest type thing? I don't know. It's kind of like mushroomy. I don't know if honeycomb. It is mushroom. Mushroomy. Ooh, I can destroy mushroom. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of fungal. And it is kind of a... It does have a honeycomb texture to it. So... Alright, Cornifer. Here's your one geo. Jeez. <laughs> one geo. Ooh. Why did, I, why did I think we had this stuff already for free? Why is Cornifer charging for everything? I don't know, man. I guess he's got to make a living. All food is made of geo, as they say. I think you should not kill no monsters. Let them go to Cornifer. Gary said he can't outrun them, and this is what he, he deserves. It. <laughs> yeah. Since we're, since we're not friends, his mature physique is not going to be able to keep up with this little guy. Good. All right, I guess I'll go this way. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Take care of you. Oh, I love that move. The little, the yeah. air bubble, like the come in, come away. It's just slick and oh, excuse me. And quick, slick and quick. We got fungling, a fungified husk. The remains. They will definitely be the Joker's uh, minions. Because I feel <laughs> like they always have like a yeah. set of twins. Yes. Yeah. And Hornet would be Poison Ivy's. Uh, yes, she minion. would. Absolutely. Or she might be Poison Ivy's uh, partner. It, it, either one could work. Right. Either one could work. Poison, uh, Poison Ivy is a very interesting character. And the new DC stuff, top tier. I haven't watched it. Just seen certain clips. Yeah. Very, very good. Uh, I grew up, when I was growing up, Batman and Brave and Bold came out, like when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And that show's actually ahead of its time. Really? Breaking Bad? Yeah. No, not Breaking Bad. Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Ah. Was that the animated one? Ahead of its time. Yeah, it was. Yes, and was Mark? Was that the one with Mark Hamill? As the Joker? No. No? No, that's Batman. That's the animated Batman. Ah. This is the Batman, the Brave and the Bold. It was animated as well, but the Brave and the Bold was on a lot. It, it showed a different hero and like a different villain every episode almost. Cool. Which is amazing. Yeah. Like, as we get older, we want more information. Ow. Oh, snap. Did he blow up? He sure did. Fungified, fungified husk. They explode. Oh. Good, good, good job. Thank you. <laughs> like a little balloon. Just, I want to keep reminding people, Cole chose to let both people die in that scenario. I just want people to know that. <laughs> I did not. I just did not. I didn't case. know it was only only the baby that I could save at all. I thought I was choosing between one of them. Cole didn't ask no questions. He just assumed everything. Ow. As the king, like, extremely det detrimental. <sighs> oh, they're heat seeking. They are indeed. I'm going to get this, though. Helena job, Seal. Okay. You got up there. Uh oh, uh oh. See ya. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Need to skadoosh. Okay. All right. Moving on along. Um, I feel like it's probably been 30 minutes. So. Yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> yeah. So we'll call it here. And if not, we'll combine, you know, maybe some of the next episode. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, that sounds good. So yeah, thank you all for joining, and and uh, yeah. Peter. Oh, you said you did stop it. Okay, that's cool. Um.